The pandemic continues to take a toll on the restaurant industry. Over the weekend, Bin 228 announced its Hartford Wine Bar will remain closed for the foreseeable future. It's just the latest eatery in the capital city to close up shop this year. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is joining us now live from Hartford. And Mike, what does all of this mean for downtown? Well, a lot of other restaurant owners are worried that they could soon be following suit, and that's because so many of them rely on people coming here downtown and sitting down and actually enjoying their meal inside. So with so many things happening with the pandemic, they have been hit especially hard. Full service restaurants are the ones that have been hit the hardest because you know, they, they need people to come in and dine. The pandemic has been hard on the restaurant industry in general, but that doesn't mean everyone's felt the same impact. Fine dining and downtown eateries have felt even more pressures as the pandemic limits indoor dining. The latest casualty appears to be Bin 228 Wine Bar. I've been going back and forth. The decision seems to get easier and easier as the months go on. Owner Alicia Roncari announced on social media this weekend that the Pearl Street establishment will remain closed. She hopes to reopen it one day, but says that's growing less likely by the day. Due to current restrictions, she can only have three tables inside and says opening just doesn't make sense. Scott Dolch of the Connecticut Restaurant Association says this is a feeling shared by a lot of owners in downtown Hartford and other cities. They're having to look at their, their business, their, what's happened over the last few weeks, and, and they're making difficult decisions. The problem begins with foot traffic. Holiday events and concerts have been put on hold. Sporting events are allowed to have little to no crowds. And many of these restaurants serve menus geared towards people looking to dine in. A lot of fine dining establishments, their things don't travel. It's better to be having those meals inside the restaurant. The Restaurant Association recently launched a campaign to save restaurants, hoping to get both funding and consumer confidence. Runkari has kept her Glastonbury gastro pub open, but without financial support, she says the wine bar's temporary closure will become permanent. We just need money. We're going to need money to help us survive the ne at least the next four months. Now, we did reach out to Mayor Luke Bronin's office for comment, but got none today. Industry experts expect that is, uh, roughly 25% of restaurants could be closed by the end of the pandemic nationwide. Here in Connecticut, that would mean at least 2,000 of the 8,500 restaurants. Of course, that's why they're trying to build support and avoid that. Live from Hartford, Mike Savito, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.